It turns out that we may be living with X-Men and we don't even realize it. Okay, so we're not talking about real superpowers here. Instead, we're focusing on amazing tricks and abilities that only a handful of people can perform with their various body parts. See if any of these 10 talents are familiar to you. But before we start, there is one thing you definitely can do that most other people can't. See that subscribe button? Out of the world population of over 7 billion people, only several million have ever been able to click it. Try it now and see if you're one of the special few. If you can, also be sure to activate that notification button while you're at it. Rolling your tongue. They say that sticking your tongue out is rude, but we think in this instance, it's necessary. Now, if you think back to your years in school, you can likely remember that kid who loved to show off the freaky stuff they could do with their tongue. You know, twist it around, put a bunch of bends in it, and roll it up like a tube. Others who tried to copy this mostly failed, and then were likely yelled at by the teacher. For years, we were told the ability to roll your tongue was genetic, but that whole theory was blown out of the water when a study of identical twins showed that only 70% shared the ability to roll their tongues. Since identical twins are genetically identical, if one twin could do it, then the other should have been able to. So why can some people do it while most can't? Experts say genetics plays a small role, but so do environmental factors. They also say that with practice, you can learn how to do this trick. Although we're not sure how many people will work in the time every day just to be able to roll their tongue. Hypermobility. Most of us know at least one person who has hypermobility. They are the person who shows up to the party and at one point in the evening ends up bending their thumb all the way back to their wrist or twisting their leg right around so their foot faces the opposite direction. Yuck. After everyone is done cringing and laughing, inevitably a few people try to replicate the feat. The result is almost always the same. Failure and unnecessary pain. Usually referred to as double jointed, people who have hypermobility actually have joints that simply move beyond the normal range thanks to extra flexible muscles and tendons. While early on in life such ability is a surefire party favorite, those with this condition need to take care. Later on in life, research has shown such people are prone to serious joint injuries, pain, and even the development of a rare weakness that that strikes at the connective tissue in the body. Oh, and in case you were wondering, you can't really make yourself double-jointed. Hypermobility appears to be an inherited trait, so, like the Force, someone in your family likely had to have it first. Tickling yourself. Your armpits, your sides, the bottom of your feet, and behind your knees. When you were a little kid, these were pretty much your kryptonite. That is, if anyone tickled these areas, you likely turned into a giggling blob on the floor. Perhaps it was an older brother or sister trying to torture you, or a friend trying to get you to release a toy you were fighting over. Whatever the reason, everyone has spots on their body which can be incredibly ticklish. Yet, have you ever noticed that when someone pokes you in the side, you squirm and laugh, but if you do it to yourself, nothing happens at all? It's all down to our brains and the power of predictability. Researchers say that what makes a tickle ticklish is that our brains have no control over it and no ability to predict the sensation. However, when we scratch or poke ourselves, our brain knows exactly what is going on because it's what sends the message to do the action in the first place. This predictability actually causes our brains to shut down the areas that respond so uncontrollably to someone else's tickling. The end result is that most people cannot tickle themselves. The leg trick. Our brains and bodies are incredible things that have abilities we often take for granted. For instance, our brains are far more powerful than any multi-core computer processor and can handle an incredible multitude of tasks all at once, without you even noticing it. Right now, your brain is processing images from your eyes and sound from your ears, all while maintaining stuff like, I don't know, your breathing and balance. Yet for all the amazing things it can do, it does have limits. Take for instance the ability to multitask in certain situations. No, we don't mean the ability to hold a beer in one hand while grabbing a bunch of chips in the other. Instead, try lifting your right leg slightly off the ground and rotating it in a clockwise fashion. Easy, right? Now, while you do that, take your right hand and try moving it like you were drawing the number six. Oh look, your leg just changed directions to mimic your hand's direction. Let us save you a few minutes. You can't do it because your brain isn't wired to allow you this type of movement. If you are one of the few who can do this easily, then you likely have suffered some sort of brain trauma or you've got one of the those special brains. Two directions. Our eyes are pretty amazing. After all, they see in full color and produce an incredibly high definition image that makes the latest TVs look like a joke. But they do have some limits. After all, for the most part, our eyes are set up as a team, always looking in the same direction and at the same object. We don't, for instance, have eyes like a chameleon, which can operate independently of each other. Well, most of us at least. 
Then there are the people who suffer from strabismus or amblyopia, aka lazy eye. In such instances, the eye muscles don't work together and one eye often looks like it's staring in a different direction. Just keep in mind, this is not a controlled or intentional movement. You may be wondering about those of us who can cross our eyes. Yes, some people can cross their eyes, but that's not really the same as having them look in a different direction. So if you ever run into someone who can move one eye up while the other goes down, or anything like that, enjoy the show, because that, my friend, is a rare ability indeed. Time for our freak show quiz. <laughs> Just kidding. We mentioned earlier that some people with hypermobility have the ability to bend and flex in all sorts of strange ways. Do you know how many people are born with this power? We'll give you the mind-bending answer at the end of the video. Ear wiggle. Now, we here at The Richest aren't specialists in medicine, but we do know that the human face has quite a few muscles. These do everything from help us chew our food to open our eyes. In fact, when you think about it, every single movement and expression you make with your face is a carefully choreographed move by all sorts of unseen muscles. Now, we know one of the more famous muscle control challenges involves raising one eyebrow in a dramatic fashion like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Not a lot of people can do that effectively, but what about wiggling your ears? That's actually a feat not a lot of people can do, and those who can don't do it well. We can blame evolution for this, as humans evolved the ability to move our ears actually decreased. Today, at most, one in five people can wiggle their ears. This doesn't mean they are uninvolved, just that they are better at finely controlling certain muscles than most people. If you smile or raise your eyebrows, you can likely feel those muscles that wiggle your ears at work. Practice and work to isolate those muscles, and you might, one day, fascinate your family and friends with this elf-like ability. Gleeking. There's a very good chance you've never heard of this. It's called gleeking, and it's when you shoot saliva out of your mouth. You may be thinking, big deal, I can fire spit out of my mouth anytime I want. Yet, gleeking is a bit different. Have you ever seen footage of an animal shooting venom or something else out of its mouth? Well, humans can kinda do that too, only with saliva. There's even a chance you have done it more than once unintentionally. To gleek requires that you master your submandibular gland. In a nutshell, swallow any saliva in your mouth, gently push your tongue to the roof of your mouth, breathe in deeply, and then push your tongue hard against the top of your mouth while pushing your jaw out. If you have the power, a small stream of saliva will actually shoot out of your mouth. Only a privileged few are able to master this technique with any consistency. The rest of us can only look foolish as we contort our faces or drool all over ourselves. It's neat and disgusting at the same time. Yay! Individual toes. Place your hand on a table. Now try moving each of your fingers individually. Not that hard, is it? All right, now place your foot squarely on the floor. With all your superhero powers, try and move each toe individually. The big toe will be the easiest to move, and we bet that most people will be able to at least wiggle this big piggy separate from the rest. However, working your way towards your baby toe, the vast majority of people will be totally unable to move a single toe at a time. Researchers say the reason for this is practice. From birth, you're wiggling your fingers and trying to grab pretty much everything. Thing. As we grow up, we use stuff like pens, phones, forks, and keyboards on a regular basis. All of this works the region of our motor cortex related to our hands. Meanwhile, the area which operated our legs and feet remains relatively underutilized. For this reason, most people can't move their individual toes because they simply have never practiced it. Yet, people with no arms have shown repeatedly that with constant use, your brain can be trained to operate your feet in the same fashion as your hands. Eye bulging. Remember that scene from the original Total Recall where Arnold Schwarzenegger is exposed to the atmosphere of Mars and his eyeballs come bulging out of his head? Yeah, it freaked us out the first time we saw it too. We all know that people all over the world come with different sized and colored eyes, yet their eyes are all generally well inside their head, seated comfortably in the eye socket. With that in mind, there are actually a handful of people who can get their eyes to look exactly like those terrifying eyes from Total Recall. Now, medically, some people suffer from trauma or diseases which can inflame the eye muscles, resulting in the eye actually being pushed out. Some people, however, have demonstrated on countless occasions the ability to pop their eyes out of the socket simply by working the muscles in a special way. For the vast majority of us, getting our eyes to bug out like this is impossible. In fact, any attempt to do so in public may have others wondering if you're having a stroke or just really startled. Sucking it in. Okay guys, take a look at what this girl can do. 
No, she doesn't have an eating disorder, and no, she doesn't have some strange alien inside of her. What this girl can do so disturbingly and effectively is to suck her stomach in really far. And we mean really far. The end result is that you can really see this person's abs, hips, and rib cage. Now, we know everybody sucks in their gut a little. Guys, we know you do it when someone you think is attractive walks by. And ladies, we bet more than a few of those bikini shots we see on social media have a bit of a tummy tuck going on. That's all pretty normal. Yet the ability to pull in your belly so much that it makes others think you're hollow inside is extreme. In fact, when you were little, we bet you knew a few kids who could do this. As we age, however, our bodies change and we fill out a bit more. As a result, the vast majority of us can only flatten our belly a little bit, not make it look like our insides are caving in. So, when it comes to hypermobility, do you know how many people are actually born with the ability to bend and twist in all sorts of strange ways? The answer? Around 5%. That's right. 1 in 20 people apparently have the ability to bend their fingers or arms backwards, or even twist their legs in all sorts of cringeworthy directions. Even more shocking, it is estimated that around 10% of people have hypermobility as children before they grow into adults. As you can probably guess, our time together is coming to an end. While we've said all we have to in this video, keep in mind that The Richest has plenty more informative and fun videos. In fact, there's all sorts of videos about the human body, strange abilities people have, and bizarre ways people have modified their bodies. A little something for everyone. Just be sure to hit that subscribe button before you make your way out. That way, we can always make sure you have a link to the latest and greatest releases. Bye bye for now. We'll see you next time.